One of my clients said, online dating sucks and it doesn't work until it does. And this is so true. You have to browse through so many people to find the right guy who's worth your time. But it can be a great place to meet people because that's where people are nowadays. If you're looking for love, online dating can be great, but you should watch out for people who are just there to scam you. Some creeps are targeting women. They are preying on our vulnerability, especially when we are looking for love. I met so many women that fell for various kinds of financial scam. You think this is only happening to lonely senior people. You're wrong. So I want to tell you what red flags you should be looking for, but let me introduce myself first. I'm Dalila Jusik Laburge, founder of Be Here and Our Relationship Academy, and a licensed marriage and family therapist who helped hundreds of women find love and enjoy happy, lasting relationships. <music> for love you will meet various people be careful when it sounds too good watch out for following signs that he may not be who he pretends to be number one his peak is devastatingly gorgeous and it's the only one on his profile most likely it's not even his peak it could be a stock photo ultimately you don't even know if this is a person or a bot it could be your ex trying to mess with you. Number two, after two conversations, he calls you baby, sweetie, and other endearing names. You should feel weird about this. It feels creepy. He's trying to speed things up to make you feel comfortable, but hopefully it will make you feel cautious and uncomfortable with such familiarity too soon. He also may be trying to gauge your boundaries and see how easy it will be to scam you. Number three, he tells you a story of an incredible hardship that results in him needing money. He may even tell you that he would never ask you for money and that he will manage it all. But he's actually trying to make you feel compassionate and offer money. Because after all, you're already a couple. He's calling you baby and he shares deep secrets with you. You would be cold hearted if you didn't offer. I mean, are you kidding me? Number four, he's usually somewhere overseas or at some kind of job and he can't wait to come back and see you, although he never saw you in his life. Somehow his financial situation prevents him from seeing you although he's so eager to meet you. This is a typical spiel that they give you. There are all kinds of stories. Often they're a US military member, I mean, pretending to be. <laughs> they also may have a high profile job overseas as an engineer or similar, again, pretending to be. Uh, there is usually something so dumb about their story, like money for the job disappeared from their brown bag and now they can't finish it and come back to see you. Seriously? Who uses cash for jobs? Others may be slightly more sophisticated, but one sure sign that something is wrong is that they will find excuses for not meeting you or even talking with you on the phone. If you date online, the chances are that you've met one of these scammers. I'm curious about what fantastic stories these people told you. Do you have any other red flags to share? Comment below and let us know. That's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get the latest updates. If you want more tips about love, relationships, dating, and all those simple complicated topics, join my Relationship Academy Hub where you can find free courses. The link is down below.